everybody. I am back and I know I said in the last video I would show you how to start the chain mail um, out of the soda pop tabs, those little fun things. So here it is. I know it's been a couple days. I did work out on Monday. Uh, my gym partner is home. Yay! We started the insanity workout. I've only worked out Monday this week because I have been busy with school. A lot of speeches to write, a lot of homework, a um, couple essays due this week, so haven't really had a chance to work out. But I plan on going to the gym today, hopefully, if I have time. If I can get this video done and the essay I have to do get done, have to do get done, yeah. <sighs> Public speaking tonight. Ah, wish me luck. Can't even speak real English. So, anyways, here's the tutorial on how to start the soda tab chain mail. I will say, um, I messed up on one of the tabs. I will show you what I did. It's not very pretty. Um, they're supposed to look, you know, like this. And this is how it came out. I think what happened is after I had bent it, I did the whole bendy thing like you're supposed to. And I think I put it way too far down into my Gerber. And so instead of cutting it, it just kind of smushed it. So usually I try to center it. I'm like, see that kind of on the Gerber blade that way I get a clean cut but yeah this this mangled one <laughs> it just it smashed it and destroyed it and there's no saving it so it's going in the garbage pile so there's that so yeah I have a couple more that I need to bend so let me move that so you can see what I'm doing so remember Smooth side out, rough side down, this side right here. Make sure it's pointing down. Bend it. My camera's focusing, being weird. Snip it. And do that with all of them. I do have four that I am not going to bend, uh, that I'm not going to snip. I'm going to bend them, but I'm not going to snip them. And that's so I can show you how to finish the piece. Because um, I do have that last piece I was working on. It's pretty much done. I just need to do the very last row, which for those, you don't bend. You snip, but no bend. Let me get these ones really quick. And like I said, once you get the rhythm down, these things are, it, it goes so much faster. The first time I did it, it took me forever to bend and snip. Um, <laughs> bend and snap. But yeah, now it's just, it's a quick process. So to join these bad boys, let me see if I can get my camera down more. There we go. The mangled one, like I said, to the side. Let me make that go away. There's my four that I'm not going to be using. So I flip them over because that's the easiest way. I tried working with them this way up. It's just, it's not working for me. Um, it's just easier to have them all upside down, rough side up. So to start, take one tab and you take this part right here I don't know if you can see but you slide that one in slide that one in and that'll give you a little triangle and see come on camera focus there we go you attach them through this part here through the snapped part so you do that and then you take one more this is the beginning, this is the very beginning. Slide it on one, slide it on the other, and then you have four. So you have a little diamond shape now. There's the front, this is the back. Again, you're working with the back piece. Then, to build up your chain mail so it goes into the kind of a triangly shape, take it, the one on the end, slide it in. Take another one, on the end, slide it in. That one didn't want to slide. So there's, you have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces to start with. There's your beginning triangle. Let's see if I can do that better. So that's what it'll look like. It's okay, I can work with that. And then to start your next row, I always start on the one that's closest to me, otherwise it just it feels awkward. But you're going to take it, this side, find your little cut piece here, 
slide it in. Take another one, slide on one, and then on the one right next to it. And this is where I like to take my pliers or your Gerber, and you just clamp your edges shut. That way they don't fall apart as you're working. For the longest time, I wasn't clamping until the very end, and it just it kept falling apart when I would put it away for the night, and it was just a big old pain in the butt. You see how they just want to fly on out. I think I just, yep. So, I just like to bend it a little. I don't know how well you can see that. And then crimp it together. And you'll probably have to go over it a couple times. Um, I have, but it's okay. It happens. So there's that. But don't close all of them until, here, I'll show you what I mean. That won't, that won't make sense why I said it. So this one already has two rings on it right here. It's got these two tabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and crimp it shut because I'm not gonna be working with that one anymore. But this one here, it's not, it only has one tab, so I'm not gonna crimp it yet because it'll just make putting the next one on harder. So I put that one on and that one, and now I can crimp this middle one. And then you take one more, put it on the end, crimp it shut, just like that. So you see your triangle is growing. It's getting bigger, it's getting wider, and you're just gonna keep adding to them all the way up. Um, the tutorial I found on Pinterest, which I linked in the last video, I'll put the link in here, tells you that once you get to about 10 across, which is about right here, this is your halfway point. Let's see if I can get that in, there we go. So 10 across is your halfway point. Um, you can make it more if you want it bigger, smaller, less if you want it smaller. Once you reach your halfway point, hello husband, he's texting, you're going to start going in. So instead of starting on with one on each side, you're gonna bring it in. And I'll show you that in another video once I get more tabs. We're not drinking as much soda as we used to, so <laughs> it's getting hard to find tabs, but it, we're making it happen. So I'm gonna show you, Just I'm gonna start on the outside even though I don't like to. So there's the one. Take the, another, the next one, attach it, attach it, and then go ahead and crimp it shut, just like that. So there's that. That is how you start. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box, and I will try to answer it to the best of my ability. To finish the piece, like I said, I have this one done. There we go. Oh, that camera doesn't want to stay. Okay. So this piece is done. To finish it, I like to I like to start on the left and work my way to the right, just because otherwise I feel like I'm working backwards. Oh, my camera focus. So I have four tabs that I haven't bent or cut yet. I'm going to cut them, but I'm not going to bend them. Um, all the other ones I have bent and cut, so hopefully this one will lay flatter since it is going around my forearm. I don't want it to be as sticky up there's not going to be a whole lot between it and me so I don't want it to scratch or you know hurt at all so again don't go all the way down to the middle so you don't mangle your tab and just snip it's easier it is a lot easier to snip them when they're not bent oh this one has a rough edge if you do have a rough edge like this one does right here you can go ahead and take your pliers and try to bend it shut or just clamp it I haven't had a whole lot of those on these last couple pieces. The first one that I took apart um, had a pretty rough edge. There is one right here, but again, it's going over a piece of material, so I'm not too worried. The first one is going to be against my bare skin, so I did kind of be a little bit more vigilant about, you know, smoothing out rough edges. So now that this piece is a little bit smoother, I'm just going to snip it like that. So these ones. I shouldn't have snipped them. I just realized that you didn't have to snip them. You really didn't. I read the tutorial wrong. This is why you read your instructions. I messed up. You're not supposed to snip it. You're supposed to bend it. Let's just see how it goes. I'm just going to throw these bad boys in here. I can't believe I did that. For some reason, I got it backwards. But luckily with the way it's snipped, it shouldn't affect it too much. These, the, the cut edges are laying pretty flat. 
so hopefully it's not gonna be too much of an issue um, I can't believe I did that that's why you read the instructions all the way through instead of glancing but I've never done this step because I never thought I would really need to so that's how it looks let me turn it upside down or I'm sorry right side up so you can see it I do think I'm gonna leave it still that way I have a more solid way of tying it I think it does look I, I think it looks okay um, I'll probably do like I did with the other one and crochet some black thread around just so it doesn't come apart. So there's that one all done, albeit a little bit wrong. Can't believe I did that. But it happens. Welcome to the world of crafting and cosplay. <laughs> you mess up and you move on. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how we went from this to that. I'm going to sand this one because I do like the way it looks better when it's painted black after the sanding. It's a little bit rougher looking so that is it i hope you have all enjoyed this even though i messed up but you know what i'm gonna make it work i'll deal i will post the link to the original pan again just in case anyone missed it and i will talk to all of you guys later bye